Okay, in this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to make this, this bottle trap. Uh, now, I'm not going to really build it for you because I'm lazy and it's really, really late at night. But, I have a bunch of, of spares here in this bucket. We always carry the spares in the bucket in case one gets ripped up or an angler destroys it with his fishing rod. So, real simple here. All it is is your bottle. You've got a bottle. And it has a plastic triangle. Okay? And this is all glued and riveted together. And you'll notice that there's one long rivet left intact. Normally the rivets pop off if you go too far. This one right here we left intact. The reason is, is because up here at the apex of the frame, we have a hole. I know I'm kind of going in reverse order, but I kind of have to reverse engineer everything for you. Okay. Well, how did we make this? Well, we just took a piece of fabric that was 44 inches by 44 inches, and we found the center. You know how to do that. You're a scientist, right? And from that center, we then glued it onto a bottle. This is just a 500 milliliter polypropylene Nalgene bottle. I'm sure you got a gazillion of them, and you're going to have to order a heck of a lot more if you build these. And then what we did is we made some triangles. These triangles are 0 .063 inches thick. I think that's about an eighth of an inch. And five inches on each side, maybe five and a quarter. Okay. I round them off on the sander. Uh, wood, wood planes work really good on PVC. Okay. Then I just took the fabric, held it there with the bottle, and put the, uh, put the triangle on the top of it. Okay. Now, once that's down, oh, I'm sorry, before we, uh, before we put that triangle on, we just goop the snot out of it with automotive goop. It's called Automotive Goop. It says Amazing Goop. I don't know if that's the company. I'll send you the, the uh, product code on that. I also use the barges uh, glue. That works okay too, but Automotive Goop's better. This fabric's available at uh, Rocky Wood Fabric. I looked under a scope with this. I measured it. It's identical to what Dr. Fauch provided for me. So I'm pretty sure it's identical to what Colton Baxter used. I don't know, though. I, I, I do think that they have their own separate traps, but I thought they were all made together. Um, so now at this point, these are all glued together. There's no hole in the bottle, but you're holding this triangle on this new bottle, and you have the fabric in there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to rivet, right? So we're going to take our drill. You're probably going to buy eighth-inch rivets, drill the right size hole, these two holes first, this corner and this corner, okay? Now, this isn't steel, so you're going to have to go get a backing washer, right? You know how that works. You just have your rivet, your washer goes over the rivet, and then now when your rivet is being compressed, it's grabbing onto that washer, not pulling through the plastic, right? So you go this corner, this corner, pop, pop those rivets, okay? You can pop them off. Now those rivets are kind of holding this big triangle onto the bottle. You then need to go and get one of these crazy, it's like some titanium uh, cutoff saw for a Dremel. It works really good. Make sure it says it works for plastic. I'll try and find the UPC code for you so that you can buy what we had. And now, now you're holding that on there. You're just going to go bzzz, 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 right? Go slow. If you go too fast, you're going to grab that fabric. You just want to melt your way through the plastic and make that V. At this point, you just have two rivets, and you're just holding it down with your hand. And that automotive goo actually does a pretty good job, even when it's wet, of holding everything intact. The next rivet you're going to do is this point up here. Remember, don't pop it out. But you have really easy access to put that backing washer on the back of that triangle at this point. Pull, 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 get it tight, right? Okay, now you like this one? Great. If you don't like it, throw it away because it's not worth your time to try and fix it. Then put in these extra little rivets, okay? Now it's held together with automotive glue and rivets, and this rivet right here is pretty much in the center of your 44-inch by 44-inch uh, mosquito heading. 
and I'm going to, again, send you all the UPC codes for this. So now you know how to make the fabric part, and next I'm going to show you the frame, okay?